against a program like Michigan, but one of the tasks is not to look ahead to those Buckeyes in two weeks for the Big Ten showdown. Cook under duress has to throw it away. Around, as we mentioned, that's been the important stat in this rivalry throughout the years. Cook with time, locks one, caught. From just shy of midfield, Michigan blitz. Jeremy Langford picked up a yard for Frank wide receivers. And Cook goes out of the gun. Just a three-man rush, wobbly ball over the it's something that he has to improve on, and he improved on it right here. That's just a miss. It's Wolverine showing blitz. They rush five. Well picked up. Another wobbler, but an open receiver is Keith Mumphrey. Well, there's a reason why Connor Cook's having the year he is, because he's only been sacked four times. So Thank you. On the run, Langford. Fighting for every yard. He got to the 18, a gain of three. For Langford, see. Cook kept it. Chris told you the coaches wanted more out of the they tack on the penalty yardage. Well, it's just a little read option right here. The McGarrett Kings on the fake. It's the Michigan defense running. And you know why? The pass it this end of the field in the red zone. The Langford. Bowles his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State. Scheduling quirk made necessary by the additions of Maryland and Rutgers to the Big Ten. Jeremy Langford in trouble, and Jake Ryan wrestles him out of bounds. Back from a major knee injury and performing at a high level again for Michigan. Connor Cook running out of time. And throws it away. Only 300 yards per game of offense to their opponents. That's 10th best in the country. Connor Cook running out of time. Got belted as he threw. And swung down short. Pressure with just four allows Michigan State to get back in that zone. And Frank Clark showing good speed. Over the last two seasons, Gardner himself turned it over 27 times. And Michigan had great field position. Over margin is a key to winning and losing. It's a big reason why this team is losing. McGarrett Kings first down in the Michigan territory. Langford. Well, they're going to bottle him up behind the line of scrimmage. He waited for the hole. The thing about Langford is he's one of those guys that you love because he always is falling forward. He's banged up earlier in the year. He's gotten healthier. The production has picked up. He had banged around but had more than enough by about... ...for Conklin. Now, this is what I call finishing a block. You're going to put people on their back. You're chopping your feet, then you finish the play, and you're able to pank... ...for anywhere. <laughs> and the coaches talk... They used the word dominant to describe his play at left tackle. The best offensive lineman they've had here in a long time. He's already done that in the pregame speech. Nick Hill... There's the stand-in for Langford. Things are very sour these days in Wolverine land. Here's the jet sweep. And R.J. Shelton, the ball carrier. Well, they're continuing on. It doesn't matter now as Langford pulls his way forward for another first down. Defense, that front seven. And they're losing the battle along the line of scrimmage right now. Langford driven back. Joe Bowles say, come on, offense. you got to do your job. Give us a chance. Jet sweep action again. Cook kept a bad decision. He swung down by Frank Clark. First quarter. Third down and goal from the 10. Cook in trouble and dumped back at the 19-yard line. It's a blown coverage because the corner has to come off to the furthest outside guy. But Connor Cook came off that coverage, allowing Wormley remains the running back. He's seen more playing time in recent weeks. They're trying to limit the wear and tear on Langford. They thought he carried the ball too often last year. Number of carries in the yardage career high. They try him again. He gets gang tackled after a gain of four. In defense to pick up on. Cook lost one to the near sideline and it is caught with a flag down by Aaron Burbridge. If it stands, it's a close call. <laughs> Might require measurement. 
On first and ten, Connor Cook deep down the middle, receiver running open, and it's incomplete. Burbridge. Brower. They fake the jet sweep, the quick throw to McGarrett. Kings. Pierce. High snap, shovel pass. Hill. Nick Hill's the running back. Four receivers. Design roll for Cook. On the run, too high. <laughs> Find a way to win, right? Exactly right. <laughs> not cheating, you're not trying. On first down for the 19th, Frank Clark. Right there. It's just 2.7 yards per rush this season. That's fifth best run defense in the country. Oh, a fumble! And the ball's taken away. The robbery is in his blood. This is his words, not mine. Langford looked like he was stacked up. Found some running room. And went for the Spartans, now ahead by only four, under three minutes to go in the half. One timeout left for Michigan State. Tony Lippett against Michigan. Won five of the last six after losing his first try. Cook looked around and then threw it over the head over the years, including Drew Stanton, Mark Dell. Punches went to Michigan. AJ Troop cut it. This is the first catch in the last five games for Troop, a junior from Minneapolis, a walk on. It's automatic around college football as a 13 yard gain on the pass to Troop. Now they set up a screen. Langford weaving his way through the traffic and down at all. Uh, just a good, good, good job of patience of Langford allowing his blockers to get what they want, Sean. Inside handoff to Langford. Bounces outside. Lowers the shoulder and goes into the end. Play. Just taking more time off the clock and leaving less of it for Michigan. Could have used timeout, but didn't. Langford down to the goal line. Power formation. Andrew Blakert, the motion man. Langford to the goal line. Touchdown. Last year, that's minus 50 for Michigan. They scored on the first touchdown, the same place, just a little power O. And as we said, everybody knows where the ball is going. Follow 37, they'll take you to the football. But Lankford was never lost to an unranked team when ranked. And they're leading 14 to 3 today. Jeremy Lankford in regular season game. Longest such streak by a Big Ten running back since Curtis Enos with Penn State 11 in a row. Way back in that hurry, fast. I mean, once he stops and starts, he's able to kick it up in the gear in a hurry. They're going to lean heavily. We'll judge how strong it is. <laughs> it's like when a guy says, I have to tell you a really funny joke, and then you know it's going to be a. Been the problem with Michigan over the past few years. Players standing up across that defense, trying to give a different look. Cooks just started. And that intensity has never wavered when he talks about this rivalry. Look at the catch. They say he was in bounds the entire way. Touchdown, Michigan. This field in September and October. That comes from the practice field in the middle of summer when nobody else is doing anything. Beautiful. Tony Lynn. And the touchdown drought continues. And Langford. Surges out to the 12. When I realized I was a prospect, then I might actually go to college. Football was his ticket. Got and, and the more he came stronger, tougher. Langford Langford carries again, ridden down. <laughs> Into the bag of tricks, McGarrett Kings trying to turn the corner again. Well defended, Jordan Lewis. Lost his job as the starter. Turnover prone. Colt McCoy is going to start in that ball game for Washington. Cook threw it to no one. he's not going to stop the ball. Delton Williams is in now at the running back. Third different featured back of the day. When you're Michigan, you're not used to doing that. Delton Williams. Dragged out of bounds. Good to see because this could have been nasty. Well, Connor Cruz is trying to cut off number 56, Pimpkins. But right there, you see Willie Henry engaged. Now, that's not an illegal chop block because Connor Cruz, that was back. Hey. 
He's a big back counter. He comes up against the team that now that their offensive line is healthy again looks like one of the very best in the country. Flag thrown. Delton Williams picked up the first down. Safety made the tackle with help from Jordan Lewis. Holding. Offense number 74. 10 yard penalty. Repeat third down. That's Jack Conklin. We mentioned earlier. One of the great, he's looking up at the replay of Michigan. Matter of fact, his team beat Sturgis 44 to nothing last night to go to 8 1 for the year. Hook throws open receiver. Mumphrey couldn't make the catch. The country are right now. College football playoff, top 25 presented by Allstate Tuesday at 7 30 on ESPN. And watch ESPN. An argument, even though that close win to McNeese State. Has a little, some people flustered, but the Big Ten Championship game will go a long way. Langford's back over Michigan State, and Ohio State has that tough loss to Virginia Tech. Yeah, that loss to Virginia Tech early in the year, looking worse and worse as the season goes on the way the two teams are playing. You'd think they'd hammer him earlier in the year. JT Barrett was the new starter. They were adjusting to the new offensive line. Virginia Tech, to its credit, and their great coaching. And we talk about comparing the teams with one loss and the impact of that one loss and the one loss to Arizona it was an Oregon whoops trouble on the handoff Ben Frank Clark has recovered Jeremy Langford never did seem to get it from Connor Cook and a very rare turnover for Michigan State Takeaways all season long for Michigan on defense entering today. They've had two today. Yeah, just the trouble of ball handling. Looked like the ball was just a tad low right there, but one that you certainly need to execute. And they've executed it a thousand times in practice, executing front of Jeremy Langford. Back to the line of scrimmage, perhaps just to cross it. Well, they didn't do that, so that's why I thought it was a good call. But anyway, if they were evaluating one loss teams, and that's the only loss for Notre Dame, I'd have to think they'd get in. And give it to Langford to try to get the first down. And he did. High ceiling. I think he can become a very good NFL quarterback one day. Well, he left Langford in there. At least right place for him to be next season. There's no thought about it, Todd. He has to come back. He's going to improve everything. He will improve his chances on being a better NFL quarterback. Oh, and Akron. Langford turns the corner. Michigan State, it's not their job to stop Michigan State. 